Good morning everyone, it's Tess and today is tip 156. And today I'm gonna talk about laughter and smiling really being the good medicine. Um, and it kind of came up for me because I was I've been doing some journaling work in the law of attraction with uh, the 40 day journal book with Zahar Mahoon. And uh, we were looking at laughter and, and uh, smiling in the journal work yesterday, today, uh, recently. And I thought, well, I'm going to look into like uh, laughing and smiling because we hear a lot about it in our lives. And I think that I've talked before about how putting your mind in the right place is really helpful when you're trying to do your weight loss journey. And I thought understanding the benefits of um, smiling and laughter might help us to grab onto it when we're struggling with our weight loss. Hi, Dolly. Good to see you. Um, and I thought that thinking about laughter and uh, medicine might help us when we're struggling with our weight loss. Because I think, I think for me, the biggest obstacle that I've faced in my life is that negative thought, that negative, as Doc V calls them, the negative fat filters that I had to release, the, um, the woe was me, I can't do this, bad self-esteem, bad self-worth. And I thought, what's a way to kind of try to quickly release that stuff? And I think it's actually, I think laughter and um, smiling, those are good tools to at least get get you started on a trail of happiness and then on a trail of feeling good about yourself. And when you feel good about yourself, it tends to help you make better decisions. Um, so I actually found a psychology article about it. And it says, it's, the title is, Psychology to Grin About, the Benefits of Smiling and Laughter. And I know we all know it feels good to laugh. It feels good to smile. I know no one likes to be laughed at or smiled at, but I think even that, if we can learn to always turn it and always make it something humorous and never take things personal, it just might make life go better. Because as we've all learned this past year, the only person who can change us and how we feel is us. We are responsible for how we feel. Um, it does talk about this psychology. Article talks about how um, smiling and grinning boosts both our mental and physical health. And it sh it's shown to improve social lives and increase lifespans. So maybe it'll help one of us hit that 150 year mark the doc is talking about. Doc V always says there's someone alive today who will live to be 150. Um, it also says a genuine smile is produced without realizing it. And I think that that is true. Um, because it kind of pointed out that we as humans smile for uh, different reasons. You know, we can smile because we're uncomfortable. We can smile because we found something funny, but there is involuntary ones. Um, the, I, interestingly, they said that there has been studies on smiling and laughter back to the 1800s. So even back then, they were realizing that trying to put a happy spin, trying to put a happy life, trying to uh, release the... Uh, release the Debbie Downer syndrome any of us may have is just going to help us all the way around because it helps us faster to get on that track to winning instead of staying in that place where we feel like we failed. Um, it does say that the multitude of research done suggests that we probably smile out of true happiness and social necessity. Those are the two main reasons that we smile. Um, and it kind of says that laughter isn't much different. It's, um, it's either uh, happiness or social uh, necessity. And they do say that social and involuntary. And um, it says the benefits of smiling are that you become more approachable. You, your, body releases, your body releases good hormones. You have better relationships. You're more productive of, at work. And I think that's true too, because I've kind of recognized that... Um, when I'm feeling better about myself, I'm more confident in the decisions that I'm making. Um, and it's kind of ironic, but even myself at work, I do struggle with self -esteem. I have worked very hard in the past year to overcome self-esteem and self-worth. Um, a lot of work through Zahar Mahoon and Unlimited. It's been really, really wonderful for me. And what ended up happening is, I started to recognize that if I don't feel like I'm at my best, I think I release that energy to my employer. And then I think because I feel like I'm not doing good enough, they feel that. And then they're always trying to push me to have more. Then it ends up in this unending circle where they're pushing for more. I feel like they don't appreciate me. I feel worse and we go in the circle. Well, recently I've started to recognize I know when I'm doing a good job. I accept when I'm doing a good job and I release it. And we had something happen earlier this week and 
I did not let it bring me into that negative spin. I used my laughter, my social, my smiling, and I just kind of made myself worth, stay positive through the whole thing. And the irony of the whole thing is it, it was a mess. We got it fixed. We moved forward with it. But, but ironically, I went into work yesterday and I had been recognized on our internet for having the passion to resolve a problem. And I'm like, wow, just a shift in thought, just a shift in how I am looking at things. And they felt that shift themselves. And I'm going to say I didn't do any more this time than I would have done any other time. The difference is I'm starting to recognize and accept my own self-worth instead of always feeling like I'm lacking. So if that's a gift I could give you, remember you're worth it. Smile, laugh, and appreciate yourself because if you can't appreciate yourself, the others around you sense it and then they think you have more to give. Um, the, one of the my items I mentioned earlier is laughter will let you live longer. And it does kind of say, how can you laugh and smile more often? It says, even if you have to fake the smile, fake it. Um, it will increase your feelings of happiness and self-worth. And I think that's like a lot of us do I am affirmations and um, uh, journaling, trying to bring our moods up. So try to definitely do that. Um, one thing I learned with Sahar, with the Unlimited, is if it doesn't feel good, like if you can't say, I am amazing, say, I am learning to be amazing. I am learning to feel good about myself. I am learning to be, to look at life with wonder in my eyes. So if it doesn't feel good to say that affirmation yet, add that word learning in, because that really does help me a lot. Um, so I guess I just wanted to touch on something lightly, but this isn't a light topic. I think this is a life-changing topic. Laughter and smiling can be a world of difference. It can manage your stress. It can make you feel good about yourself. It can make the people around you recognize that you're giving it your best. I truly think that was my hang up with work. I always felt like I should be giving more because I felt that way. I released that energy. That's the energy they felt. And so they thought they had to push me for more. I had to get to a point where I knew I was at my best so that my energy showed that so that the people around me knew I was giving everything I had to give. And just one reminder of the benefits of laughter and smiling, it um, releases hormones that will counter stress hormones like cortisol. Um, it'll give you like the dopamine, the things that will help give you the happy hormones. So smiling and laughter gives you the happy hormones and helps reduce the stress hormones. Um, Sometimes it's like an internal workout. Laughter is for the diaphragm, so they say it's an internal workout. It's a distraction if you're having a stressful moment. Sometimes even my mom, my sister, and I will get into it. Like <clears throat> We'll get to a certain point in time, and we'll just bust out. And if we get to that point and we bust out, none of us can stop. And my dad refers to it as the cackling hens because we just can't stop. Um, it's got social benefits, laugh with your friends, find humor in your life. And if you have to, fake that smile until it feels natural. Learn to love smiling. Learn to appreciate your love, your life. Learn to be happy with the things that are unfolding in your life. Learn to release that energy showing that you are giving this everything you've got to give. You're proud of yourself and those around you will feel that energy too. So... If you aren't a natural smiler or a natural laugher, try to learn to smile and learn to laugh because those feel-good hormones will take you next level when you're struggling. Have a beautiful day and thank you so much, everyone. And um, I'm going to put a link to my YouTube channel. If you aren't subscribing to my YouTube channel, if you like this video, please consider subscribing, liking, and sharing. Um, I appreciate you all, and I'll talk to you. Those in the uh, DRV Transform group, I'll talk to you tonight. And the rest of you, I'll see you in the morning. Thank you so much.